Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for February 24th, 2021. This is the rune Othila. Now, Othila is the rune for separation, but it's really about a separation within ourselves, a retreat within ourselves, talking about shedding our skin. And we just went through several days of this build up of connecting with others that we may not get along with and possibly working with them and the whole collaboration thing. This reading right here says to me that this is what we need to pull from this, that this is part of the lesson that we need to pull from this. Here, let me move this up a little bit so you can see the cards a little bit better. Sorry. All right, there we go. Um, so we're going to start with the juxtaposition of this Ten of Cups and Seven of Cups. So the Ten of Cups you know, it has this big peace sign, but it's really like happily ever after. It's about all of your dreams coming through, uh, coming true. It's about everything coming out the way that you want it to, like the happily ever after card. The seven of cups talks about, if you look at this card, this little kitty is looking at these bowls. You'd think he was be, he would be tearing into it, eating them, right? You would think that he would be like just digging through them. But the seven of cups talks about things not being exactly what you think they are and that these cups look like they are offering all the good stuff but that there might be more in them than what it looks like now in the in the in the context of this particular reading what this is specifically asking you for is to really examine how this seven of cups is keeping you from moving forward okay how this belief okay all of these little cups they look the same you can't tell from the surface that there's i don't know a bug at the bottom of one and a, a carrot at the bottom of another i'm trying to think of things that cats wouldn't like to eat um, you can't tell that from the surface right it is the cat's fear that there is more underneath the surface in the success, right? In the success of these cups, it is the cat's fear of what might be underneath of the success that is keeping the cat from moving forward. It is the fear of what lies within the success that is often keeping us from moving forward because we look at this success and we don't know what it feels like we don't know what it is we don't know what's in those bowls we don't know how success feels but we do know how this feels where we are we do know how this moment right here where we don't feel successful feels we do know how it feels to feel like we are a failure or that we are not successful or that we are never good enough that we know and that feels comfortable to us that feels safe So we look at success. I'm sorry. I thought I was speaking there. My, I think my neurological thing is flaring up today. I'm sorry. I literally thought I was speaking. And then I was like, there's no sound. Why is there no sound? Oh, I'm holding the card and nothing's coming out of my mouth. All right. Neurological dysfunction right before your very eyes live. Um, <laughs> this cat is looking at these things terrified scared look at the look on this little kitty's look at the look on this little kitty's face just terrified that there might be something in these bowls in this success in this success that this kitty doesn't does not can't handle but it has no idea what's actually in there so instead it's just sitting there looking at them not moving chariot reverse not moving it is that fear that needs to be overcome still it is that fear that needs to be healed within you it is the fear of success it is the fear of moving forward because this is just a reminder the knight of wands is showing you that you have everything that you need that you have the creative energy you've got that fire you've got that third eye you've got you got the ship here about moving forward right you have it and then King of Wands saying you have the leadership, you have the entrepreneurship, you have the vision, you have everything that you need. And the universe is just trying to remind you of that. It is that fear, it is that Seven of Cups fear of that looks too good to be true, or that success is too scary, 
or and people don't even realize that they're afraid of success that they're afraid of what happens if they actually succeed i lived in this energy for a really long time without actually vocalizing it and uh there's so few of you watching. Okay, story time. I'm gonna. I'm, I shared the other day about my fear of aggression and testosterone and men in general. Um, I'm gonna share a story for for with you about my fear of success and what I carried with me for most of my life. I'm 50, and I got married very young. I got married at 18 years old for the first time. I got married again at 23 for the second time, and I am now five years separated, um, slash, I mean, we're not legally divorced, but good enough. He lives somewhere else and has for several years now, uh, and we're very good friends. We get along very well. He's my family. He's, he's probably my best friend, but for many, many years, um, I always wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a dancer, I wanted to be a performer, I wanted to be on the stage, I wanted to be on Broadway. That was my first dream. The first dream that I ever carried with me was to become a singer and a dancer, actress, triple threat. That was what I wanted to do. And, you know, I got married very young the first time and had two kids and got married again the second time and chose bet much better the second time. Um, even though it still wasn't uh, my my happily ever after that that is coming any day now <laughs> it's coming very soon I, I I have faith I even though even though he was very supportive he was very kind I always feared that if I pursued singing, dancing, performing, acting, whatever it was, if I pursued that, that I would lose him because I would have to go on the road. And he, we talked about him being the one to stay with the kids so that I could do whatever I was going to do. And, and he was very, very supportive. This is not about him at all. This is about me. I was too scared to leave without him. I was too scared to be separated from him in any way because I thought that meant that I would lose him. Now, little did I know, I had lost him years prior <laughs> as a husband, but gained him as a friend and a partner. Um, but he wasn't thinking of me as a wife anymore for a very long time. But I was still thinking of him as a husband and I thought I could save. I, could, I thought I could, could keep my marriage if I stayed close to home. Because where I was, even though I was unhappy, where I was was less scary than putting myself out there and possibly succeeding and possibly moving forward and possibly being something. Where I was was more comfortable and more comforting than the unknown of my happily ever after, than the unknown of having my, my dreams come true. And so I sat in the energy of being mad at myself for making that choice and telling myself I wouldn't have made it anyways because I'm a piece of garbage and I'm terrible at everything I do. I needed a lot of self-healing. I needed a lot of self-healing and it wasn't until my awakening in 2012, late 2012, early 2013, that I even got a glimpse of how truly twisted and mixed up my thinking was. And it took years of untangling. And I'm still untangling. Luckily, I'm getting down to the end of the rule of uh, the, the wad of thread or yarn, you know, I'm getting down to the end of the end to end. I'm getting down to the, the part where I'm less tangled than I was. And it's much more easy to see those knots that are still tied up. But it's always interesting when those things come up in these readings, because they show me that space is where I'm still trying to learn. These readings are for me too, y'all. I started doing this for me, not for you guys. Sorry. Anyways, I doubt anyone's even watching this far. I'm making these for myself. I It does not matter to me whether you guys are watching. If you are watching, thank you very much. I appreciated it. 
I'm going through so much change in my life and so much shifting and transformation. It is amazing and scary and wonderful and frustrating all at the same time. So we'll see what happens next. You are beloved. You matter. You are so very loved. Face your own fears. You can do it. I know you can.